beautiful late model, basically light new Rockwood 8314 travel trailer here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, well, this is a rare treat. It is not common. We get uh, folks trading back in uh, Rockwoods like this because it really is one of those products that's designed to be, you know, one of the last you're going to own. It's, de it's designed to be that one that's going to carry you through years and years, you know, the final RV purchase you're going to make. So naturally the question begs, well, smart guy, why are these folks looking to, uh, you know, why'd they swap out of this one? The answer is pretty simple. They, they found a house that they just really liked and they just simply didn't need a travel trailer anymore. They had their vacation and destination home all wrapped up. So it's kind of a nice benefit for you folks at home. Um, you know, the folks of you watching this video, you get to take advantage of uh, a very late model, like new RV here, that has gone through that new price tag uh, depreciation wave. You just get something that is in fantastic shape that you get to save a bunch on. And this is very well equipped. This was purchased right here at Halitz. One owner, no pets, non-smokers. They, uh, they took care of this thing inside and out. Um, it is fully six-sided vacuum laminated. If you need an explanation of that, please don't hesitate to call. But long story short, what that means is the best construction you can get in a lightweight. And that's why Rockwood is the number one seller. Well, one of the many reasons Rockwood's the number one seller in lightweights for many years. So not only are your, your sidewalls laminated, but the roof, the floor, the, uh, the rear wall, even the side walls of the slide-out are fully vacuum laminated, which is something most lightweights simply cannot match up to. Uh, you'll find uh, torsion, rubber ride, axle, suspension under this, fully enclosed, uh, insulated underbelly. Um, the, uh, the nicer radial tires, not bias plies. You'd be shocked how many lightweights are still using bias plies. Um, you know, aluminum wheels so that you don't have to worry about rusting over time. Folks that purchased this, um, you got the one with the, this is called the Atrium Dinette Setup. So you have a freestanding table in here surrounded by these big floor-to-ceiling windows. So you just have maximum scenic viewing and light pouring into your travel trailer to give it just an amazing look. Um, you'll notice the uh, previous owners were very big on preventative maintenance. Things like you'll spot the little max air covers on the roof vents, both the power and non-power roof vents. They were not afraid to uh, to spend a couple bucks to keep this thing in top working order. Um, whenever the uh, the owner came into our service center to pick up pieces or parts, um, he never asked how much uh, something cost. It was just how soon can we get it. He was not he he wasn't worried about just nickel and diamond. He wanted the best possible products to take care of his RV the best possible way. Um, you notice that you do have a rear roof access ladder here. That's so that you can uh, get to the uh, uh, fully walkable laminated roofing. You know, people talk about walkable roofing. That's almost tap danceable roofing. It is drastically different. Now we have push button uh, power tongue jack, push button four corner stabilizer jacks, push button power awning. Everything is push button simple. The idea here is to spend more time enjoying your vacation and less time wrestling and setting up your travel trailer. Um, power awning here i love how big it is you're going to get some very nice patio space but the fact that it is a power awning means if you get caught in a uh, uh, bad weather situation you weren't predicting you don't have to go outside in the wind in the rain uh, you don't have to get beaten up like that you can just sit inside you don't even have to put on pants if you don't want to push the button roll up the awning go back to bed now right here what we're looking at is a little bit unusual uh maybe not unusual but unique is a better phrase Rockwood gives you an extended outer rail. Now the intention here is to put on an RVQ grill and this little work table that comes with the trailer. The RVQ grill is stored under the bed, by the way. It is included with this used trailer. Looks like it's barely ever been used, if ever. Now, previous owner liked these tables so much, he bought two more from Rockwood. So these aren't like aftermarket parts or some hillbilly job that was put together. These are actual Rockwood outside tables that he put uh, that he purchased for this trailer just to have some outside extra space. So you can put your picnic table here, have your drinks and condiments up off there. I mean, it was it was it's really nice how he has this thing put together. And you even have an extended rail over here for I don't know another table, anything like that you want to use. Um, let's hop inside. Oh, here's something I like again. Preventative measures. Rather than pulling on this when he's trying to close the door from the inside, he had one of these little pull handles installed. So just like you'll see here, you can grab this, shut the door quickly and easily, and that is extremely nice if you have little ones like grandkids come over because they will pop those little plastic panels out of those doors left and right. And you do that enough times and they don't pop back in. So again, the big atrium front window here, you're just going to be surrounded by big windows, scenic views, 
And I have the day shades pulled down on most of the shades right now so that you can get some light, but you see you still get privacy. But notice that all these windows do have two section day and night shades. Camera's not cooperating. There we go, two section day and night shades. Now your dining table here, it does have a leaf extension that pulls out. You can kind of see it right there. So you can get some extra space there if need be. Um, fun little thing a lot of people don't realize, uh, these little rockwood chairs, uh, my grandmother called them sewing seats. That's where, you know, she could keep extra bobbins and stuff like that. But that's a perfect spot for like, you know, extra forks, spoons, knives, um, paper plates, uh, games for the kids, anything. Um, this is a, a pull-out air bed here, so this can pull out into an extra sleeping space. But what I like about it is it's a residential style, meaning it is on its own little feet. So if you want to uh, use this for storage under here, that's like the perfect place for uh, things like, you know, Monopoly or board games for the grandkids. Now your two uh, recliners in the back are actual Lazy Boys. A lot of people re uh, refer to any recliner as Lazy Boy, but these are actual Lazy Boys. And you will be hard pressed in any price point of any RV to find a more comfortable, more plush, uh, enjoyable place to sit. Big windows in the back letting in extra light. And something that I love about Rockwood is how conscious they are about storage. Notice that all the way across the upper rear wall, you have these big storage cabinets up here. And these are shockingly deep. You see it goes clear up to my elbow here. And I'm a pretty big guy. Now again, construction, the uh, roof, I triple dog dare you to do that to another lightweight's roof. You put your hand right through it. Um, I Actually, I wouldn't recommend doing it if it's a trailer you were serious about purchasing. <laughs> right when you walk in the door, you find your full command center. This has the majority of your lights and, and uh, buttons and bells and switches, monitor panels, things like that. Um, something else that I like is you have an easy access battery disconnect right here. Things like this really cool all-in-one DVD player, the TV, even the circuit panels in the refrigerator, the microwave, the water heater, all of that stuff constantly places a small trickle draw on your battery. So, if you don't want your battery to drain, that's all there is to it. You push that plunger, it cuts the battery off, now your battery cannot get trickle drained. When you're ready to go back to service, you simply pull that out and you're good to go. That is literally all there is to this thing. Um, I'm always a sucker for a breakfast bar here. Again, you know, grandkids in the morning or even just grabbing a bowl of cereal, something like that. You've, you've got the perfect place to do it. Or if you're cooking, buddy, that is electric griddle country right there. That's the perfect place to get your, you know, your bacon and stuff going. All of your drawers are full extension. All of them are full plywood box construction. Again, this is designed to be the last RV you'd ever own. Um, you know, these folks had this thing parked and they go and visit it from time to time. That was the whole point. This was to be their vacation home. Just turns out they found one that worked out uh, a little better for their situation. So, you know, again, there's nothing wrong with it. They didn't get rid of it because uh, it started nickel and diamond us. They loved it. They they actually really regretted it and but getting rid of this, but you know, they just didn't need it anymore. Um, again, all-in-one stereo system, um, indoor, outdoors, with Bluetooth capability. This is one of the first generations of stereos that can merge up with your cell phone. And you notice it even has an XM receiver here, though obviously you need to get your own service. Big Toshiba, name brand, flat screen TV. Rockwood doesn't use chintz electronics, never has. I doubt they ever will. Um, you see that we've upgraded uh, the refrigerator panels on here so that it matches all of your cabinetry instead of just flat panel inserts. And one problem most rear living rooms have, meaning two chairs in the back like this, is a lack of kitchen storage. But you see that Rockwood does not suffer from that deficiency. They give you a nice big pantry right here. We have a full walkthrough private middle bathroom with a standing fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub. So you get extra tall height, um, you know, a tall guy like me can even stand in the shower. My head's not gonna, you know, hit the ceiling. You've got an extra um, hanging closet here right next to the shower. You can use that for just extra coats, wardrobe, anything like that. Um, you also have an additional gigantic, very, very generous linen cabinet here right behind the stool, right across from the shower. Um, your stool is porcelain, not plastic, so you can actually clean it, and you notice it is a foot flush. And I love the fact that their bathrooms in these Rockwoods have an undermounted sink. Everything you just you can brush into the sink, wipe out, and be done. And notice you can actually fit your hands in this thing. They give you a very good sized medicine cabinet up here so you can keep your toothbrush and toothpaste and everything off of the countertop and out of your way. Um, what else? Oh, right here. 
Create a Breeze fan, full size Create a Breeze fan, not the little four inch plastic fan, the big fan. This is the one that will pull the hair right off your head if you're not careful. Um, trust me, folks, I would know. I mean, how do you think I lost this? All right, it wasn't from a fan, but you get the point anyway. Um, and in a travel trailer, a full bed in a slide out like this is about as rare as hen's teeth. And in English, that means it's extremely uncommon. Um, unless you're in a higher class of trailer, like we are right here. Now notice, Rockwood still gives you a front wall window, and they're also including the roof vent up here. All of the windows open in a Rockwood. You open those windows, the vents, you can get some amazing cross ventilation in here. Now uh, you have extra dresser space here, extra dresser space below, and this is one of my favorite parts of these. Extra dresser space right below the bed. You get two of these massive pull-out drawers on each side of the bed. Um, they put power outlets on both sides of the bed so folks with sleep apnea, if you need your breathing machines, you are set. Now this is something that truly impressed me, and it's the little things. I look for the little things in used RVs because that tells me the most about people. I looked in their closet, and everything was just perfectly organized. Everything was set in its own place. Everything in this RV had its own place, and that's how these folks took care of it. They made sure that everything was done right every time. They didn't uh, abuse, neglect, fail to maintain anything. Um, these three cushions right here, these go up into your ceiling vents. So if it's a little cold or if it's really hot, you can pop those up in there and kind of bump up your R factor a little bit. Um, all of the original owner's manuals, the, uh, the TV remotes, the DVD remotes, all in one place. They kept track of everything. This is a fantastic RV that has been fantastically kept. No known issues, something you can buy with confidence and use for many, many years, get a great deal on, and have a wonderful time building a lot of memories with family and friends. So give us a call, 800-256-5196 here at Halet RV. We have uh, an amazing service department, financing, hitching, accessories. We do everything in one spot, trades. If you have a horse trailer, we'll take that on trade. A car, we'll take that on trade. We can do everything because this is supposed to be easy, guys. It's supposed to be fun, and that's how we do it here at Halet. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Thank you, everybody. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.